<laughs> as soon as we turn the camera on, Gracie just attacks. It never fails. Yes, thank you. Thank you for all of the kisses. Guten Tag, amigos y amigas, and welcome back to the show. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. We've had torrential rains. We've had dealer incompetence that led to a water leak and a broken slide. So if you want to see more of that fun, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and all that because those shows are coming up. Ma'am, what is this? See, every time we try and film, it becomes dog play time. Go. Apparently I'm just going to be throwing a toy the whole time. Welcome to another one of our monthly collaborations. We do this once a month, hence the term monthly collaboration. Uh, this month we will be doing favorite travel apps and memberships. But before we get into that, we should mention the other collaborators. And since I mixed it up last month and we did the ladies' names first, this month, you ready? We're going to alternate. No. So, yes, men's name, lady name, then lady name, man name. Okay, oh, ready? Handle. No, you're all breaking. You don't need to, it doesn't need to handle it. I have notes. <laughs> so, the others in our collaboration are Camping with the Confers, which is Mike and Shelly K. Just rambling around with Ron and Jody. No, you goofed it up already. <laughs> Try it again. Just rambling around with Jody and Ron. Congratulations. Uh, next is <laughs> Live to Journey with Jay and Lenny. RV America with Lynn and Danny. See, it's easy if you read. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least is RV Wagon Tales with David and Tina and the wiener dogs. Oh, the dogs. Um, oh, also. They're probably much better behaved than Gracie right now. They probably are much better behaved than Gracie. She just, you just have to be on camera, huh? One thing I did forget to mention is congratulations to Shelly Kay and Mike at Camping at the Confers because they just hit 1,500 subscribers, which means they do good stuff. So you should go and subscribe to their channel. Actually, subscribe to all those channels. All right. Speaking of good stuff. Yes. I guess he's camping right behind us. Shh, behind us. They're incognito. You can't say anything. I can say it. Okay, say it. I'm saying it. <laughs> the Hanks are right back over here. Yeah, if you all watch Happily Ever Hanks, um, they're like right next to us. We, we wouldn't talk to him yesterday. I like said hi. Um, okay, so let's get this thing going. So I've broken it up into two sections. We're going to talk about apps, and then we are going to talk about memberships. So the first app that we use a lot is the One Control app by Lippert. It basically Bluetooths to our Brinkley. It allows us to do things like check our tank levels. I use that when I'm flushing out tanks. It also allows us to, to work lights. So if you're outside and it's getting dark, you want to turn the awning lights on, you can just pop those to turn them on. Next up is the Way My Truck app. This is an app associated with cat scales. This is really important for those of you that, that uh, drive towables. Uh, you can use this app in conjunction with uh, a cat scale to weigh your truck, your trailer, make sure that you're all legal on all of your weights. I just personally think Mike likes to go in there because he's an extra driver and just likes to hang around all the big trucks. Yeah, I do like going to cat scales. <laughs> You talk about this one, Tony Tao. We use Bring Fido all the time. We do. It? So since we're traveling and everything and we're traveling with our pet, we use the Bring Fido app. It tells you all the pet friendly places, hotels, restaurants, attractions, everything it tells you that's pet friendly. So whenever we come into a new town, we want to go eat, we look on, you know, we want to take Gracie with us, we look on Bring Fido. It's a great app and it's never failed us. One caveat on Bring Fido though that we discovered was, I think there was a lot of stuff added to it pre-COVID and after COVID, a lot of places hours changed and even days they are open changed. So if you find something on Bring Fido and you go, hey, you know, I want to go to Bob's Crab Shack, Go to, to the website yeah, for Bob's Crap Chat. Like that, yeah. yeah, and things just look. Have, things have changed a lot. Yeah, because they may not be open on that day or their hours may have changed. They may not even be there anymore. Or they may not even be there anymore, unfortunately. Sadly. Oh, this one's a great one. We use this as often as we can. It's actually the app that allowed us to find 
Babyland. Mm -hmm. If you have not seen the Babyland episode, I will link that. Um, it's called Atlas Obscura. What's Atlas Obscura, Tony Tal? It's a app or website that allows you to look for weird and wacky things in everywhere in every town you go into. Like they're just the unusual. I mean, if you come into San Diego, you know there's a Sea World, you know there's a San Diego Zoo, you know there, there's the beaches, but you mm -hmm. don't know that there's like a haunted park. Right? That used to be a graveyard. It used to be a graveyard. And the bodies are still there. Yeah. They never dug them up. Or the or the special caves um, that go that you go into through a storefront. Yeah. Um, there's just a bunch of little wacky things. I just think it makes traveling so much more interesting when you just don't necessarily stick to the big touristy things. I like the little touristy things. Absolutely. We have a tendency to go to the weird and wacky places. And then the last one, you've used this more than me, and that is? Recreation.gov, if you know, you know. It's not the greatest, but it is how you book national parks and state parks. We've also used recreation.gov for getting reservations to get into certain places, like when we were in, well, we used it to get a reservation into, uh, not just into Arcadia, but onto Cadillac Summit. And then we also used it when we did the Mount Evans Byway uh, outside of Denver, which if you've never done the Mount Evans Byway, you should do that. That's a ton of fun. Anything else on recreation.gov? They just now implemented this, I think. If you can't find a spot at a particular campground that you want to go into, you can set up an alert that it alerts you if something opens up. Oh, cool. Because we have alerts for Yellowstone right yeah. now, right? Because we're trying to get to Yellowstone this summer. I think that does it for apps. It's all I have on my list. Do you have anything else? Mm. Apps wise? No. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to memberships. Now, a lot of these memberships also have apps that we use. Um, crazy girl, she, I, I don't know what it is. As soon as we turn the camera on, she's, she's go, go, go. all morning. Yep. Um, so we're gonna move on to memberships. The first one, and this is without a doubt, our, our favorite membership, and that is Harvest Host. Right. What's Harvest Host for those that don't know? Harvest Host is a app or website that is an aggregate of all these places that you can boondock at for free all over the country. Um, the caveat is, is it's usually like a farm or a winery or a brewery or a museum or a golf course is you spend a little money there. Yeah, we really like Harvest Host. It's a nice way to, to have a place to stay for an overnight. We use it a lot if we're doing, if, if it's a travel day, but we're gonna have multiple travel days, we'll use Harvest Host for that night over somewhere. It is a membership. I believe the cost is $99 a year, but there's multiple levels because you can have Harvest Host, which is breweries, wineries, farms, um, but there's also an add-on for what, what it's called Boondockers Welcome. And Boondockers Welcome is basically people that have a place to put an RV and will allow you to stay on their property for the night. We've never really done a Boondockers Welcome. We've only done Harvest House. Now, some people complain that, you know, well, Harvest House, you gotta spend $20 or $30 on something where you're going. We usually stay at breweries, and if you know anything about us, we're gonna buy we're gonna beer buy anyways. Beer. So it works really well oh, for us. Oh, you stay on farms, and you, they usually have like a farm stand, so you get fresh fruit or mm -hmm. jellies or pies or mm -hmm. whatever they do. I mean, it's totally worth it. It's it's better than spending $20 at a state park. Yeah, and, and it's also better than like trying to boondock at a Walmart. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, because you never know what type of neighborhood you're in with the Walmart. So anyways, Harvest Host, we really, really like it. We are not affiliated with them in any way, but um, yeah, go check them out. Love Harvest Host. The next one that we use, it's a membership and an app and a web app is RV Life. It also has Trip Wizard. Um, we use it to, to book campgrounds or to find campgrounds that we want to book. There are excellent reviews on, on uh, RV Life Trip Wizard, they, but make sure that you like read the most recent reviews. It also does trailer safe GPS routing. What does that mean? Well, it allows you to put in the dimensions of your trailer and then it will make sure that the route it's giving you is safe for the height of your trailer. For those of you out here on the West Coast, it's not that big of a deal. There's not a lot of low clearance stuff on the West Coast. For those of you on the East Coast, you'll know how important this is. But 
Anytime we are using a GPS app, what do we do, Tony Tao? We open a second GPS app mm -hmm. and kind of just double check and verify and um, watch the times and, and it's just, we feel safer having two GPS apps open. Yeah, so usually we'll have RV Life as the main app going on on the screen in the RAM, and then Tony will have like Apple Maps or Google Maps up oh on God. her phone. It also allows you to, I haven't done any of this, so I'm gonna let you talk about it. It allows you to track costs. Yeah, so when you're planning your trip on RV Trip Wizard, you can put your costs in there and everything, and it, it'll track the cost of the campgrounds. It'll track mileage and if you put gas and stuff like in there so it's a great way to kind of keep an eye on your budget the next one up is waggle so waggle is a it's hardware and a membership and what it is is a device that that constantly is measuring the temperature inside of your trailer this is super important for those of you that travel with pets and look at we're funny to a pet app we're talking pet something and she's gone Gracie girl, you don't know when to make an appearance. So Waggle will, tracks the temperature. You can have temperature set points so that if it gets above a certain temperature or below a certain temperature, it will send you an alert. The other beauty of Waggle is it doesn't use Wi-Fi. It uses the cellular network, which is also why there's a membership for it. So by using the cellular network, if we have a power outage in the trailer, um, and our Wi-Fi goes down because our Wi-Fi is only plugged into 120 power, the waggle will still be active, will still be working, and will alert us that A, the power went out, and then will continue to alert, alert if the temperature falls above that user-defined set point. So if you're gonna leave your dogs in the trailer, gonna leave your cat in the trailer, I don't know, you're gonna leave your ostrich, your ocelot in the trailer. Get something that measures the temperature so you can keep them safe. Uh, we also use a also ring camera. a ring camera. Yeah, talk about that. It's not a very expensive one, but it's a ring camera and we use it when we leave. If we do leave Gracie, we don't leave her often, but sometimes we like to, to go to the, use the amenities here at the park. <laughs> It's just a little ring camera that we set up that we can just peek in on her and make sure she's, you know, most of the time she just naps, but it's a good way to keep an eye on her. So we can keep an eye on you. Look over here. Look over here. Look at the camera. No, you're not going to look at the camera, are you? Nope. Nope. You're just going to give me kisses. So yeah, the ring camera's great. Uh, we use, I use an app called Drive Weather. Drive Weather is a really cool app because what it allows you to do is put in your where you're at, where you're going, and and the route that you're going to go, and then it will it will show you what the weather along that route will be during the time that you're going to be on that route. So you can adjust your departure time earlier or later, and then you'll see along that route what the weather's gonna be. It will show you temperature, it will show you precipitation, it will show you wind, whether you're gonna have big heavy winds while you're driving. There's a free version of it, there's also a paid version of it. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head what the paid version is, so I'll put it down here in a graphic. Um, but it's, it's really worth every single penny. I love that app. This is the last one that's a membership and an app, and that is? KOA. KOA's kind of my fallback. There's so many of them and we don't plan so far out. So having that KOA membership and that KOA app, to me it, it brings comfort because we've been in a situation before where we went to Harvest House and it just wasn't going to work out. And within a 20 minutes drive there was a KOA and it had a spot and I was able to get it instantly. So I like KOAs. They're, they're a little bit pricey but they're also a little bit consistent. So I love, you know, you get your membership points and all that and so i always have the koa app yeah you get points every time you book a place you also get a discount every time you book a place we use it enough that it makes sense for the membership for those of you that don't know there's different levels of koa campgrounds there's koa journeys which are more of a this is a campground to stay the night at while you're on your way to wherever you're going man um, and then there's also KOA 
is it KOA Adventures? No, KOA Holiday. Mm -hmm. There's KOA Holiday Parks, and those are more, you're gonna stay here for a week and explore the area. We stayed at one, it was a holiday in New Bern, North Carolina last year. It was a great little park. We also stayed at one uh, up in the Outer Banks. That was a great little park. So yeah, they are gonna be more family type parks. So, you know, if you're the type that doesn't like screeching kids early in the morning, then it might not be your place for us. It doesn't bother bother us. But again, We're up early there's so anyway. many of them, and I can consistently find spots when I need to. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm a big KOA fan. All right. Well, that's it for. Oh, hold on. It's not it. It's not it. Tony Tao, what do you got? This is not an app or a membership, but this is just a suggestion. If you have all these on your phone, put them all in one folder. When we're traveling, we use them constantly. So to have very quick access, I have them on the front page of my iPhone and they're all in one little folder. So I just click on it and I can hit any of them really quick. Tony Taub's a producer. So she organizes everything you know, very, very you. well. <laughs> And prior to being a producer, she was a program manager. So she's all about organization. Very anal retentive. All right. So th I think that's it. Th there's nothing else, right? No, I don't think so. All right. So that's it for this month's video or our collaboration video. Once again, please go watch the other uh, collaborators. I'm going to link them in the show notes below. I'm sure that they have other cool apps that you can, you can get I'm some information on. I like apps. I do too. Apps, but I, honestly, when it comes to like this kind of technology, when you're driving around, I have a serious love hate relationship with these technologies. When they work, they are bloody brilliant, but when they don't work, oh, it's just a nightmare and it's so frustrating. And now I'm whining. All right. New. Shall we, shall we wrap this thing up? Gracie, say good night. Say good night, Gracie. <laughs> we'll see you guys maybe next week, maybe the week after. I know we've been a little not consistent on video just because the amount of work we have, but we will see you. We're hammered, by the way. Yeah, we're hammered with work. Um, we will see you as soon as we can see you. <laughs>